Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. We begin with breaking news. Chaos erupts after gunfire during a Donald Trump rally in Pennsylvania. We are learning that the shooter is dead and someone else attending that rally has also been killed. This all happening Saturday night, again, during a rally for Donald Trump. Police now saying the shooting is being investigated as an assassination attempt. We have video showing the moment those gunshots rang out. Take a look. Take a look at what happened. You hear Trump speaking, then those popping sounds. Then you see the former president grabbing his ear, hitting the ground as Secret Service jumps on top of him. You then hear more popping, more screaming from the crowd, this all unfolding during a rally at the Butler Farm Show Fairground in Butler, Pennsylvania, Saturday night. Then you see the president being helped off the ground, what appears to be blood on his face. He's then ushered into his motorcade, which immediately leaves that venue. Police clearing the fairgrounds shortly thereafter. Again, this is a very fluid situation with many unanswered questions but we do know that according to the secret service and the trump campaign that donald trump is safe he was apparently taken to a medical facility again we were able to see some type of injury to his right ear but we do not have any other any other information beyond that now the chief of communications from the secret service issuing a statement saying i'm going to quote here an incident occurred the evening of july 13th at a trump rally in pennsylvania the secret service has implemented measures and the former president is safe this is now an active secret service investigation and further information will be released when available again we are learning that the suspected shooter is dead and someone else attending that rally has also been killed we know the white house has been briefed on the situation again an act of political violence at a donald trump rally in butler pennsylvania we will continue to follow this story very closely and you can find the very latest on our website newsnetmedia.com